hey everyone welcome back to another video and welcome if you are new so today i'm doing some pride month inspired nails and as you can see from this section of the video i'm going to be using a bunch of colorful poly gels today including the ac Esther nude poly gel from macard and also their clear poly gel and the other poly gels are all from the house of flores poly gel kit i'm also going to be using their soy cuticle oil because i just keep forgetting to use it um, and it's such a good cuticle oil i feel like it's really helped to improve like the dry the dryness around my cuticles and a little bit on my knuckles as well i guess um because i do like to spread the oil up so this oil is really good and i feel like i should definitely be promoting it more for you guys to try it out if you haven't and you're looking for a good cuticle oil this one is definitely a good one <clears throat> So um, I applied my peel off base and now I'm just gonna size out my nail tips and once I have those I'm gonna apply my little gel. You can use any gel that you like like base coat or something a little stronger than that. I like to use this Born Pretty one because it's like a really good thick consistency and it really helps me to keep my nails on um, especially since I use a peel off base. So then once I've cured all of those on I'm taking down some of the length. And of course, taking my fine grit sanding band and my Macart JD700 e-file, I'm gonna remove the shine from the nail tips. Then after removing the dust, this is what the nails look like. So now I'm just gonna go in with a final layer of base coat to the entire nail. And this is also gonna help create a good kind of seal between the nail tip and the natural nail. So I just like to do a thin layer of base coat and then cure for 60 seconds. And once I'm happy with my nail prep, I'm gonna start with poly gel application. So today I wanted to do a really easy, like beginner friendly marble. I feel like today's set was just really easy to do. It was a bit time consuming, but honestly it was just so much fun and I loved all the bright colors. So this is kind of something that I went for. I was going for this marble look, but I was kind of experimenting a bit. I wanted to see um, if I could get like a better marble by like laying the colors down really nice and even by patting them down a bit and then swirling them into each other and for some reason i feel like this worked really good it helped to keep the colors um, more close together rather than spreading out too much and once i was happy with how the colors were going to look i just basically used um, a really light patting motion you want to be careful when doing an ombre i mean a marble sorry because if you kind of drag too much with poly gel you will end up blurring um i mean smushing all the colors together way too much and then they might just create like a third color so if you don't want that look and you just want to keep the colors as they are then just remember to like use a patting motion and if you want to like smooth over the surface like i am here just use a lot of slip solution on your brush and that will really help you to glide over the nail rather than pulling the poly gel um, around too much so yeah that's something i always do when doing like a marble i try not to like move the colors around way too much otherwise it's just gonna ruin the little marble effect that i have a, have going on and then it might just end up looking a bit like an ombre which isn't all that bad but again my goal for this nail set was definitely a marble set so that's why i i'm using that technique and then i'm gonna go in with the ac Esther nude shade and basically just ombre that down and i kind of ombre it down way too much so i did remove some and then just blended down the rest so of course because we want to protect our really pretty marble we just created i'm gonna of course encapsulate with clear poly gel this is the Macart poly gel and it's honestly one of the best clears i've ever used for a poly gel and if you want to use uh, my discount code which is nails by Camin, you could save yourself 15% off the entire website and that is honestly so good especially for this clear because it's pretty much 90% like the only clear that I'll ever use just because it's so easy to move and it's just really clear it doesn't get like foggy when you cure it or anything it's just a really nice one so um, the color scheme that I was going for was just basically completely random. I was trying to get colors that kind of contrasted 
quite a bit on this nail and I feel like this nail was like my second favorite for sure. I really like the purple and the red combo. It kind of gave me a bit of like a Halloween vibe, um, which is why I added the red because I didn't want it to look like this like Halloween-y type of nail. So I just added in that red and I feel like it just kind of broke that up a little bit. Um, but again, I'm just patting down the colors so it's gonna look a bit like a block nail and then once the nail is basically nice and um, applied, I'm just going to dip my brush, the, the spatula end of the brush in some slip solution so that it doesn't stick to my brush and I'm just going to swirl and you can swirl in different directions or you can go in one direction all the way down. Um, I feel like the one direction kind of motion looks best for a marble but I feel like if these, this nails, these nails were longer I could have got away with like doing the top part of the nail going one direction and then the other half of the nail going in another so I feel like that would have look really cool so if you're doing a longer nail set and you're doing a marble maybe try this out um i think it will look amazing so yeah but i just went with the one direction and honestly this nail was just really pretty i was just really happy with the color combo and i am, I am also keeping the nails a little bit on the like thicker side i'm not doing it too thin just because i like to um encapsulate of course but i don't want to like do a thick layer of clear I, I don't know it just I just like to do like a good amount of both so that way I'm not wasting too much clear but I'm also not wasting too much of my colors Then I just go in with the nude and as you can see from the side the middle finger is like uneven which is what we want because that's the whole point of applying the clear because that's going to make it nice and even. So now for this finger it kind of did mess up just a little bit. Um, I didn't show it because it was so minimal but I pretty much um, around the end kind of swelled my colors together again. So this is the first time I'm going to swell and around the end I'm going to swell again but I didn't show it because it was super minimal but um, yeah you can always like go in and re-swell or re-add like more color or whatever. Or but I guess it's just good to remember that marbles are not perfect. Um, so just don't stress too much about it if you're struggling with marble. Um, yeah, I just kind of have fun with it and just trying to try to create a pattern that just looks cool, I guess. Something that I think will work. And if it doesn't, then I just go in and add more or swell more. Or if I have to, I'll just redo the whole nail. But yeah, just... Like I said, it's just supposed to be fun. And also I just wanna say happy Pride Month. And if you're still here watching my video, thank you so, so much. I really appreciate you being here right now. Um, why don't you go ahead and comment a rainbow emoji so that I know that you are still here. Also, don't forget to hit the like button. I would really appreciate it. It really helps my channel grow. I also want to say a huge thank you to everyone for just supporting me here on my channel. I'm very close to like 20k and yeah, I might be doing like a giveaway for that or something. I don't know. We'll see. But anyways, yeah, don't forget to subscribe and hit your post notification bells. I will be uploading a video every week. So uh, don't forget to have your notification bell on so that you don't miss out. So for this now, I kind of messed it up. And as you can see now, I'm adding in some red just because the yellow and the green were like blending way too much. And there was like not really much of a contrast going on so I just had to add the red to make it pop a little bit and I feel like that definitely helped to fix it so again just going in with that patting ish kind of motion you could always drag but I feel like just be careful with that don't over drag the poly gel or your like marble will just kind of smush all together so once I was happy with how my colors were looking i cured those for 60 seconds and now i'm gonna do the nude again so taking a siesta and a tiny bead i'm just gonna basically ombre down it's pretty simple i get the cuticle area nice and smooth and then i drag the rest down you can also drag the um, nude part further down it's it all depends on you i feel like the further up it 
further up it is um, it kind of looks a little better for me so um, I try not to go too far down and if you do go too far down just use your spatula end of your brush and just remove that excess um, before curing and also kind of try to hold your fingers leveled with each other so you can see if the ombre is looking right for every finger and it's one's not like longer than the other if that makes sense so yeah once that part of the hand was done those four fingers i then go and go in and do the thumb so i like to do the thumb last just because um it's just easier for me to do at that angle and not have to worry about the other nails messing up so i really like the color combo i use on the thumb as well it's very summery and bright i did orange yellow and that really pretty blue and then swell those together and just it i feel like it turned out really good the swell pattern on this one um turned out really good so i was really happy with this one but yeah pretty much just repeating what i did to the other nails just gonna kind of i kind of did do a dragging motion in this one now that i'm looking at it and as you can see it gave me more of like a it wasn't it doesn't even look that marbled to me now that i'm looking at it so that's why i said be careful when you're dragging because it's gonna give off a different kind of effect i'm not saying you can't drag but just be careful because if you're going for like that really nice swelly kind of marble if you drag you're not you might not get that effect like this finger so i guess i didn't notice it at the time i think it just took pretty regardless but yeah it's just something to bear in mind so once all my color was completely done i cured every single nail in my light for 60 seconds just making sure it's really nice and set and then of course i'm gonna just finish off the poly gel application by just encapsulating everything so i'm just doing macart's clear just where the colors kind of meet or where the ombre starts i'm just kind of encapsulating that section If you've seen my other ombre and marble videos you'll see that I don't like to encapsulate all the way up to the cuticle just because I apply my nude um, like thick enough so that I don't have to encapsulate all the way up to this cuticle area. I feel like it just saves me so much more time doing it this way and um, I save a lot more product as well so if you guys haven't tried this out give it a go and um, don't worry if it's like not even like too even because you can always file it as you can see from the side it's relatively all the same level the nail like the surface is all relatively even but it's not perfect so yeah i feel like there's not really much need to encapsulate all the way up to the cuticle especially if you're going to apply your nude um nice and thick um as opposed to super thin and then build your structure up with the clear although you could completely do that um i feel like it just I don't know i think it's just quicker and it's how i've always done my encapsulations with my ombres and my marbles so yeah this is just what how i like to do mine and once all the nails have been cured for 60 seconds again i'm going to remove the sticky layer using my 90 percent alcohol and you want to get the sticky layer off really really good especially under the nails too because i love to hand file so i definitely don't want to mess up my hand files because um, i don't think you can wash them and i've never washed a hand file so i don't know but yeah i just don't <laughs> want to ruin my hand file so taking my 100 grit hand file and then also having my macart dust collector underneath i am trying to use that more i'm just gonna file my filing routine is pretty simple it's just pretty much kind of making the nails really nice and narrow um, on the side walls and then doing the free edge really really nice and crisp and then kind of using a lot of the body of the hand file to just go over the surface um, and i just love to hand file this way i just feel like i get a really good even surface and i pretty much repeat this to all the nails and then of course i use a buffing block in the end and i just get all the edges of the nail as well as the surface to get it super nice and smooth
So I quickly also just want to throw in that Makart has launched um, some disco poly gels and some disco gel polishes as well as some acrylic slash dip powders um, that you guys can check out on their website. And again, you can use my discount code NAILSBYCAMIN to save yourself 15% off that collection. And I have done a review on it and I will be hopefully doing another video on the poly gels. So if you guys have like any specific colors or any design you want me to, to do with those reflective poly gels then please let me know in the comments because i'm not really sure what to do So once all the nails have been buffed and filed, of course I'm removing the dust, making sure I'm getting all that dust in my dust collector, then removing the dust one more time with some alcohol and a lint-free wipe. And this is what the nails look like. And now I'm just gonna top coat. So this is my favorite bit, just because I really love how smooth the surface of the nails look when I'm done. And then I'm just gonna apply a nice thin layer of top coat. And this is, I believe, the Glow Tips top coat or something. It's a really good one. If you guys haven't tried it out, you really should. They have really good colors um, and also really good base and top coats. So definitely give them a try if you haven't. And I'm just doing a nice thin layer and I'm making sure like not to flood the cuticles. I'm making sure to do a nice even layer because sometimes when you do a thick layer of top coat, it kind of takes away from the shape of the nail. So try to keep this layer thin. And if you feel like you want to do another coat or something to like protect your nails a little bit more or if you feel like the layer was too thin then you can always go in with a second coat and nobody's really gonna know so yeah once that's done i apply these little cuticle crystals just a single one on each nail just to keep it really simple i wanted the focus to be on the beautiful marbles that we did and then i'm gonna cure the nails for 60 seconds and once I'm done, I'm going to use the Makart Soy Cuticle Oil. This one is really good. You guys should really try it if you haven't. And I'm just doing a little bit on my cuticles and then making sure to just rub that in really well because my nails can get really dry after, after using all that rubbing alcohol and all that filing. So yeah, just make sure you rub that in super, super good. And this is the finished look. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Um, let me know if, you've, if you're doing anything for Pride Month. Um, let me know which finger was your favorite. Personally, I love the index and the middle finger. I think those two are just my favorite color combos. I love how the marbles are all unique and just different on each nail. I love that kind of abstract look to these nails. I love the bright colors. I probably could have also gone brighter, but honestly, still love it. Um, I also love how different the thumb is. It's like a very different marble kind of pattern. Here are the nails on a darker background. I feel like the colors pop more on darker backgrounds. So you guys can definitely um, see the colors coming to life more um, with this background. I love the shape of the nails. I love the addition of the crystals. Very nice and simple. Very easy beginner friendly nail set. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. As always, thank you guys so, so much for watching. I really appreciate you um, for making it to this part of the video. And as always, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.